guys. So that is a cold start. And oh, hey, what's up, guys? Caught me uh, watching some YouTube videos here. Uh, RT Life by chance. Great channel. Check them out. But anyways, wanted to talk to you guys about the five things that I like about my charger post Pro Charger. So uh, I did a five things I like about my charger before I did all these modifications, but here I am now with uh, with pretty, some pretty heavy modifications and want to talk to you about uh, the things that I enjoyed. So first is the sound. I love starting this car up and just hearing the rumble of the engine, hearing that Pro Charger whistle. It, it is, it's amazing. I mean, it puts a smile on my face every single time. Just, just the sound of the car. You guys have heard my cars, car doing the flybys and everything like that. You like it. People around here like it. It's just, it's just fun. Secondly, is I like just having this power uh, ready for me to use at any time. Uh, just re out here recently. Uh, I'm at 521 all-wheel drive horsepower in this car. 521 horsepower. That's a lot. And it's all-wheel drive, so I can put all that power to the ground. Doesn't mean that I have to use that power, but it's available to me if I wanted to. So on the weekends when I want to hit the track, I can go up to Bandemir, do a drag race, put the numbers down, feels good. And then with the Pro Charger, day-to-day -day driving, it's, it's normal. I mean, it's, it, it just feels like a normal, regular car. Third thing that I like is this new torque converter that I just put in. It is the 3600 stall, the 3600 stall torque converter. It's made by FTI. I was really worried about how this thing was going to feel when I first, uh, when I bought the mod and, uh, after I first got it, um, it drives a little bit like a CVT transmission down low just because it's really loose and everything like that. But man, when, when you get on it and that thing flashes the 3600 RPMs, this car just goes. It hauls. I mean, if it wasn't for this car being all-wheel drive, I'd be melting tires like crazy. The next thing I like is the attention and at the same time the lack of attention that I get with this car. Uh, people that know the car, people that follow the channel and everything like that, the, they got their eyes on the car. They know my goal is to catch a Hellcat. And with this zero to 60 time that uh, at the time of recording this video is still not public because uh, I'm saving all that information for the challenge that uh, is coming out here soon. With the zero to 60 time that I have right now, catching a Hellcat is very possible in this car. And then the lack of attention is, you know, I'm not parking this car in a parking lot and having people come up and huddle around it or, or gawking at it. I don't have to worry about people trying to come up and just like sit on the hood of my car trying to take a picture uh, with my car. You know, so that's the last thing I'm going to say about what I like about my car after it's been pro-charged is it's still a Mopar. I love Mopar. I love Dodge. I love just the community. I love the car itself. And it doesn't matter what I do to this car. It's still a Mopar. And yes, I know you non-Mopar guys out there are going to say, haha, yeah, Mopar sucks. You're right, no matter what you do about it, uh, with it, it's still a Mopar. You're just hating, man. At least it's not a Mustang. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification button. Peace.